Happy Friday, welcome back to my series. This is the Global Man Friday Leverage series and we meet every Friday to lift each other. That's leverage. Before I start, let me get a sip of coffee. I just finished a, a, a quick a quick webinar, a short webinar. Uh, I keep it every uh, Friday morning uh, for, a, for a certain uh, group of people. I really love it. We started like five years ago. We have many thousands of followers on that. We call it uh, Zolt and Zolt Spirit, so we love it. Uh, about leverage. I like to talk about some, uh, some things about uh, a very, very interesting area. There's a good uh, author, Paul St. Pilzer, uh, who I like a lot. And uh, he's an economist and uh, he's teaching economy and he's a very successful business person. Uh, I, I, I read many books from him. Uh, podcasts, uh, uh, I just seen some videos and all these things. The first uh, book that I saw from him, that was The Wellness Revolution. Okay, I loved it. I really loved it. This is not the topic for today. And when I, when I read this book, I was like, oh my gosh, he's a good guy. He's a very good seer, you know, a forecaster. He wrote that book 15, more than 15 years ago. Uh, about some, uh, some, some, you know, when somebody sees how the future goes and uh, everything just, it happened. I said, okay, it's nice. And I was just looking for uh, some of his books and I found this. This is the today's topic. God, God wants you to be rich. I said, that's an interesting title, right? God wants you to be rich. So I bought the book. And the, about the book, this is the theology of economics, theology and economics all together. And I was like, okay, let's see how it goes. And frankly speaking, I just opened the book at the very first sentence. The very first sentence what I've seen there was the following. You can't live an abundant life if you think of scarcity. Wow. You can't live an abundant life if you think of scarcity. So true. So true. So I just evaluated uh, some of my moments of my life when uh, I accomplished or didn't accomplish something. I said, okay, it happened so. It happened so. So uh, I read the book and I said, it's fine. You know what the funny thing is? The first publishment, let's see. Uh, it was a long time ago. Yeah, here we go. 1995. That was the, uh, the year when they published it first. 1995. 1995. More than 30 years ago. Wow. Almost 30 years ago. Everything... Everything he forecasted happened in economics, in the world. Okay, there were some things, uh, but it, he didn't see, but uh, I'm talking about economics. The new way of thinking, the new way of uh, how people should react, uh, why we should be entrepreneurs, how we should change our minds on different uh, paths. So, if you like to refresh your your... your how do you say, your feelings about economics, about your future, about your wealth, abundance, never forget, never forget. You can't build and can't live an abundant life if you think of scarcity. We have enough, friends. Come on, we have enough. The universe is a wonderful place. I truly believe in that. I know many things happen. I know that. But the universe is a wonderful place. Don't forget, you can't live an abundant life if you think of scarcity. I wish you a very present weekend. If you're in a mood, get the book, read it up, it will help. Pop me a message if I could help you in anything. Pop me a message if you are curious. But never forget, you can't live, we can't live an abundant life if thinking of scarcity. I wish you a wonderful weekend. See you next week. Cheers.